I'm joined by these two fabulous ladies and our Easter bonnet. You guys like your bonnets? I love my bonnet. Homemade by Julia. <laughs> Casey McBride and Kate Callen here with me today, and we're going to be making some really fun appetizers, and we're here to also celebrate Easter and the great, great, awesome, lovely, fantastic Scout and Cellar wine. That's clean, crafted, organic, and what exactly. So let me tell you really quick what's on the gamut for us today. First, we're going to be making ladies these great little Christinis, um, which is going to be some fig jam, which you find at your local grocery store, some goat cheese, um, and then some prosciutto and some fresh basil. You could also use arugula, works really well with this too. Um, that's gonna be first. We're gonna also be making a great green salad, which is gonna be like lots of things green, especially asparagus, because that is what's really hot right now out there, spring asparagus, um, and then also some mussels with some scout and cellar wine. Yeah, right? Can't All right, wait. So I'm gonna um, get you guys going on this. So um, what we'll do here is, so this is just like a uh, regular goat cheese that's been sitting out, so it's nice and soft. If your goat cheese is kind of like a crumbly goat cheese, then what you can do is just um, mix it with a little bit of milk or a little bit of even water or a little bit of sour cream or cream cheese, anything to make it a little bit more spreadable. Okay, so Kate, what I'll have you do here is you start doing the, um, the goat cheese, Come right? On it. And I'm gonna put this over here for you. Okay. Right? And a little assembly here. line. Yeah, a little assembly line. Uh, we do these a lot at Culinary Works, and um, it's like that great combination of like sweet mm. and a little bit salty, and then the um, freshness of the base. You're gonna do that, okay? okay? Just about that amount. So I'll give you this. Okay. All right. Perfect. And then what happens is then after that, um, here you go. Okay. Um, is we put on a little piece of prosciutto. You don't have to use the prosciutto if you didn't want to use the prosciutto. You could just you know do everything with the basil, you know, and or arugula. Um, but the prosciutto also gives a kind of that like a little bit of like a salty kind of. You know, kind of flavor. Yumminess. Yeah, a little yumminess. So I'm going to put some basil on here. Mm, delish. All right, look. So that's kind of what you have here. All right, so we have this great little platter of our little appetizers here. Remember, it was the goat cheese, the fig jam, and the prosciutto and the basil. Um, it looks delicious before I spill them all. Um, <laughs> and we thought what? We thought white, right? Yes. Is yes, probably most appropriate. And this one is delicious right here. Um, this is not the Cape Pico, but the Cape Pico is this is an Italian one. Correct. Yes. Go ahead, Kane. It's a 2018 Italian wine, and what we love most about it is Cape Pico means cool. Cool. <laughs> We're so cool in our hats, aren't just we? Just like this guy. Right, exactly, just like him. <laughs> exactly, so that is the Cape Pico. This is the Pinot Grigio. I had this the other night at home, um, and just a glass of dinner, and it was just a nice, easy drinking wine. Just went really well. I think I had some light chicken. It was delicious. Um, but let's do yeah, what we are having. drinking is the French Chardonnay, which reads Sancerre to me. It's, I, know, yeah, I used to be 100%. a Chardonnayian. I'm no longer a Chardonnayian. Anytime I say Chardonnay. This Chardonnay. Chardonnay. is Chardonnay. <laughs> this is, yeah, Chardonnay. No. Here, let's make so, sure that yeah, you see it. Soleil Am, which means sun, wind, and air. Air, air. 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 thank you. Yeah. So I haven't taken French since high school. But <laughs> it is delicious. It's crisp, light. Super easy to drink with anything. It's not heavy. It reads more smooth. like a sunset, less chardonnay. Very smooth. smooth. And the nice thing, we're, so we're going from Italy, we're going to, you know, right here to France. Yes. So, I mean, the nice thing about Scout and Cellar is they work with small vintners all over the globe. So we went from Italy to France. We're going to go, you know, somewhere else probably when we have the rest of our dishes. But, so this one is, you can ladies try one, please. Mm, I will. Thank yeah. you. So let's mm. try one for these. So Scout and Cellar, just so you guys, if you're not familiar, this is a... Clean crafted organic wine that has no added sugars. It has the sugar from the grapes, but no added sugars, no added sulfites. It's less than 35 parts per million per bottle. It's roughly two to 400 calories less per bottle, which is huge. It's right. Like a, the, a third donut. of the calories. Yeah, a yeah. third of the calories. Yeah. It doesn't make you feel like Which means the less day. of the hangover, but, way less. Yeah, for sure. It's I actually put it in the swell bottle. And that's the only thing that's ah! with me now. I actually can't go anywhere and drink real wine at a no. restaurant anymore or like regular wine that you get from a liquor store. I only drink this. So when you're going to your friend's house, you yeah. bring it. It's a game changer. You have right, to. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have to. Have well, to. try that. No, I'll, I'll talk now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to tell you, like, and also, like, mm -hmm. the, you know, the warm weather is coming. Oh and we have these great, mm -hmm. well, this is the Epic Pursuit. This one is my absolute favorite. We drank these a lot um, on the beach this summer. So this is a uh, rosé wine spritzer, and it is so light. I had it in the little, like, the Yeti glasses. Mm -hmm. You know, at 4 o'clock on the beach, I didn't have it at 1 or 12 or no. This was like, you could. You could. <laughs> you could. Or you would have this one. 
one. That's half the alcohol content. Oh, right. The mm -hmm. Pippa, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is it Pippa, Pippi, Pippi, Pippa? It was a Pippa. Pips. The Pips. Pips. The Pips. 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 Right, so cute. I, even the even the labels, right? Mm -hmm. But you said your friends love the um the white one spritzer. This is a big golf course one. They put it in their golf bag and right, love it. The ladies who golf, yeah, so right? cute. Love. And they could wear their bonnets. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, and what is this one here? I forget. This Which is um, the breast oh the fourteen k. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't come around all the time, but it's it's a good reminder that Scout and Seller gives back a lot to good like this one gives back to the bees and there's a lot of tribal organizations cancer. yeah but right. the good thing about these is they come in a four pack ready to go they all they, actually these do have the same alcohol alcohol content as any other rosé yeah right and the price point's great and they all come in a four pack mm -hmm. All right, we're back here and uh, we're going to get ready for a green salad because obviously we're celebrating green along with Scout and Cellar because it is spring and we're all waiting for the green grass. But one thing really quick, I just wanted to point out because Casey was like, oh my gosh, that is a game Rock changer. my world. Right. So with asparagus, you just want to let it go by itself. So she kind of just would go to the knife and just <laughs> cut it right there, but you really have to just let it break and it'll break at its natural spot. So again, just kind of hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, there we go. So that is the natural spot. I have uh, a, asparagus that grows in my garden and they will go really tall, but you'll feel the bottom is really, really fibrous. Like even look, like you, that's like woodsy, right? right? The very bottom. So you don't, you don't like- No wonder nobody you can't even... likes asparagus because they're eating wood. Right. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> some are big and some are small. Because exactly. I'm messing up the way I'm cooking it. All right, so we blanched our asparagus. That'll be on the recipe, so you guys can access that. So that's all set to go. Um, but Kate, I'm going to have you start to um, kind of grill some of this halloumi cheese, right? Nice. If you guys are familiar with halloumi cheese, yeah. Okay, um, right. Yeah. So right here, just put it right on the grill, and I have a little tools over there to your left. There's a spatula for you, and we're going to start to put this on our tray. Casey, if you want to grab that, put it on our tray here. Put our tray. Right here. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Woo! So we're making a big green salad. So. If you're not familiar with halloumi, it is basically like, it's a Greek cheese and it's part goat and part sheep. And um, it's like a non-melting cheese. It's super salty. It has great flavor. You have a couple recipes that you use it too yes, at home, right? Yeah, it. so. Um, Double halloumi bake. Yeah, it's a cool cheese. It's definitely different. Um, so try it out next time we go to the store. This, we're just using our great uh, edamame that have already been cooked, they're frozen. So I'm gonna have to drizzle a couple on top there. Just good old edamames, which are high in protein, high in fiber, and really good for you. So okay. we like those, right? Okay. We're gonna take our regular, just frozen green peas. Um, you're certainly welcome to buy the regular English peas. I've done that too. But in this case, we're just doing like kind of a quick spring, you know, salad here. So some peas. And then lastly, I just couldn't resist the lima beans. I mean, like, they remind me so much of like childhood. I mean, who cooks totally. lima beans? Right? I would hide lima beans in my baked potato. Right. And um, I'm going to show you what our salad looks like in a minute. We have a, a vinaigrette here, which has fresh thyme. It has um, whole grain mustard, olive oil, lemon, garlic, and a little bit of agave. So it has just a tiny bit of sweet to it. If you don't have um, halloumi, you don't have to like, that's just something different. I just wanted to kind of point out to you guys. It's kind of cool. You could certainly use feta, which we have here. That is another great, you know, example. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have you do here is just take some of this tarragon, right, and just pull off the little leaves here and just put that on top of the salad. So if you happen to have basil, uh, I'm gonna do mint, she's gonna do tarragon. So we're just gonna take some pieces of basil, I mean, I'm sorry, pieces of mint, kind of a big piece, so we're gonna pull it in half here. So tear up some pieces of mint, right, which is a great kind of like, mm, you know, it's just, Cooking with herbs really makes a huge difference. It goes can you just buy this at like the regular grocery store? Yeah, yeah. You can okay. buy the tar tarragon. It's sometimes a little harder to find, but for the most part, you can find it. It has just that, kind of that great licorice flavor. Okay. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. So the cheese is oh, yeah, looks good. So yeah, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got our fresh herbs here. Again, we're cooking with the green theme. All right, great. So let's we're gonna put our dressing on. Okay. We'll put our actually we'll put our nuts on at the end. Do you want me to chop this up at all? Um, no, I think we'll just keep it in like those pieces there. Okay. That's like sandwich. It does, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So funny. So here goes our dressing. Yum. You can be pretty generous. I mean, not like you don't want to go overboard, but 
Um, I think because it has that uh, really yummy um, kind of herbaceousness there. Oh, wait, let me grab some tongs here. Give it a light little bit. Should we just do just two spoons here? I want it. It looks so pretty. I don't want to so like kind of go way. too crazy here. Mix it up to death, but delicious. All right. So this is coming to so Easter good. Sunday. I'm gonna I, make I mean, this is like Easter I think Sunday. this is a perfect salad yeah, for Easter so because good. it's just you know because it's perfectly green, right? So get some of the feta just so we could see like what it would be like, right? So we can take a peek mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. All right, we are moving on to mussels and bubbly. But first, I just want to give you guys a really quick tip. So um, we're going to serve bread with the mussels, which is, you know, pretty traditional. Um, you could do, obviously, French fries, but we're going to go with bread here. Uh, so one thing that you could do with your bread, especially if it's, like, even, like, mm, a little bit, there's a little bit of hardness to it, so it's not as fresh, um, you just coat it with water. Like, like definitely, like, damp. Like, this is pretty damp. Like, feel it. Yeah. Like just right right in the sink, and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, like so that? I put my hand oh, yeah. in the sink, put my hand in the sink, and I just wet the bread just really mm -hmm. well. And then we're gonna put the bread in the oven just like this, like no foil, nothing. Just put it in the ovens, which I'm gonna do right now. So good to know. And um, what's gonna happen is um, it really um, makes the bread like really crisp. It just crisps up the outside of the bread and makes the the inside just nice and tender and delicious. Mm. So um, we just figured with the, you know, it's the time of year to celebrate Easter time. Yeah. We've all been going through so much, right? So we're gonna celebrate with some great bubbly. And uh, one thing I wanna know, tell you guys too, it's like with the bubbly is you wanna just make sure that you, um, that you put ice water in for when you're um, cool, chilling your wine. Yes. Like if you want it really cold, not just ice, but you actually need water. Okay. So it can kind of swim a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Like see, it's like just swimming around because it will get yeah. that much colder. Just sitting in ice, it's like a, it's like when you reach into a cooler of, you know, like beers and it's like swimming mm -hmm. in ice, mm -hmm. you know, that's so, cool. so much better. So anyway, totally. that's my quick tip of the day. But anyway, so tell us about what we're having. This is the Que Fico again, Bubbly Blanco. From Italy. Italy. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it while I open it. It drinks like a Prosecco. It does drink like Prosecco, and the price point is amazing because it's $22 a bottle, which most Proseccos are double that, if not more. And the bubble, I mean, it's just super clean, crisp. Oh, she needs help. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the vineyard that this it's awkward. comes from has been family owned. Oh, the grandfather, who's 80 sure. years old, still. Good, good work, ladies. Yep. The <laughs> grandfather is still 80 years old, is still involved, and is deeply involved. They literally stomp the grapes, I think. Paolo and Bruno. Paolo and Bruno. Paolo and Bruno. It's 16 years they've Love been that. working on this good, one bottle you. of wine. Thank you very much. So if you're a Prosecco fan, And look, it's just the is, color. It's nice yes, and light, thank you. right? This clear. is the one it's for clear. you. It opens like a bottle top, like you would a beer bottle, which is kind of awesome. It's well, and also a lot of the seller too is they're so eco-friendly. Like yes. they have none of they don't have any of the foil wrappers. Waste, no, there's anything. no waste. There's no waste. It's right. essential. Like right. they're like, but they put that on because it is, is effective and quick and easy and yeah. and let's and the corks too. Let's talk about the corks. They're the, all biodynamic and right. vegan. Bi yeah. Yeah, they're not they're not using actual cork, they're vegan corks. Right, so. they're not using the tree. Correct. Yeah. So they're, they're very Correct. progressive with every Recycle. and even the packaging when you get the when you get the scout and seller, because remember like this is yeah. everything is mm -hmm. online for the scout and seller, and when you get it in the mail, all the packaging is like, you know, from um repurposed or you know, recyclable and mm -hmm. so biodegradable. Actually the where I put the um the, the what that goes in between the wine, I put that yeah. in my fire. Yeah, it's yes. healing, you yeah, know, it's yes. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's well, anyway. a good tip. Yeah. Good tip. Right? Cheers, so let's, ladies. Cheers to Easter. Cheers. We're going to start our muscles, Happy right? Easter. So, Happy Easter. That's good. I haven't tried that one yet. That's, that's great. Good. For that mm. price point, it's so good. Yeah, the bottle, you guys, is $22. If you buy a case, it's less 10%, just like a case price anywhere else. That's good for a sparkling. It's really good. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to put in a couple packs of butter there yeah. for our muscles. Yeah, we're gonna add in some shallots and garlic, just the typical things that you would add in mussels, right? So there goes our garlic, there goes our shallots. You guys wanna stir that for me? Mm -hmm. All right. We need a spoon. Yep, she got a spoon right there. Okay, you got it? Okay. Just a wooden spoon there. And um, oh, throw a muscle over here. So, so yeah. good, right? Brings me back to my New York City days. 
And mussels are so quick and they're such a great way to entertain. Like, cause you can do a big pot of mussels, some really yummy bread, and um, it's a great, um, easy, where's the oven, hold on there, oven's on, okay. So just gonna give that just another minute. Water mussels, and actually for the wine, like they do say, like cook with wine that you would drink, mm -hmm. right? So obviously we yeah. would drink with both of these. So this one was one, I think, from my house the other night. This is the Chardonnay today. We're today. Can mm -hmm. you combine the two? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially when you're cooking something like this, no problem. Okay, so let's add our, let me just turn that down a little bit. We don't want it to burn. We just want to let it really, brown. Not really, we don't want it to brown too much because you don't want to burn the garlic. Right. You're just gonna keep stirring here. Yeah. Yeah, because you can kind of see here. Looks pretty good. Man, it smells so good already. It smells delish. All right. So go ahead and we're gonna add our mussels. Got it. So typically, like for a main course, you could say like a pound of mussels a person for a main course is plenty. This is two pounds. So two pounds for four of us is plenty. Like for an appetizer, you know, it's it's more than enough. I'm just going to mix this up just for a quick minute. We do need some salt and pepper. So you have salt, you have okay. pepper. Okay. So go ahead and just How give much? it a couple pinches. Little... It's perfect. One more, Casey. Yeah. Perfect. Yep, that's plenty. That's yep, it. and go ahead okay. a couple times. Okay, yep. Awesome. Good? Good, yep. Let's go ahead and get to the mix here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our wine. So we're going to add all the wine. Oh, so it's like, it? yeah. Nice. Absolutely. The more, the better. All right. Yep. And it's perfect. Clean, so. Yeah, exactly. So we definitely want to bring this up to a boil. Just make sure my heat is still on. Yep, I'm going to turn that heat on again right here. There we go. Good. Whoa. There we go. Fire's on, right? Fancy. All right, so, so far we've got the mussels, we've got the wine, we've got the garlic, we've got the shallots, we've got salt, yeah. pepper, butter. And Where do you buy your mussels from? Um, I buy them like a bunch of different places, um, from Fjord, uh, you know, obviously, which is local, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes ShopRite, sometimes, um, where do we go, Fairway, sometimes in Stanford, okay. so, okay. you know, well, it just depends on where I am, you know, okay. that particular day. Okay. Um, you can't go wrong. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Yep, yep. These are cultivated, so it means that they're, like, they're raised, like, they're not, like, they didn't. Right. So that We're going to get a lid on this. We're going to, to chop our herbs. We're going to put in this one, the tarragon, since we have it, right? Mm -hmm. And some of the parsley, because we didn't put parsley in the salad, but the parsley is so good. Um, because use your herbs and use what you have and use more, right? Oh, you definitely so want to use a yeah. lot. So, these are going to be our, our moozy mussels. <laughs> oh, cream! Wait, I forgot the cream. We're going to put a little bit of cream in here, too. Just to give it a little bit of, like, creaminess. I thought yeah. that would be, you know, really yummy. Yeah, exactly. It's Easter. And honestly, you can't go wrong. You guys give that a stir for me. I've never oh, made mussels before. Oh, you haven't? This is a brass finger on his not made Right, right, right. <laughs> right? <laughs> Matthew would love this. Yes, he would. Yeah. All right, we are back with our mussels here. They're looking good. We're gonna add our herbs. Woo! You love that steam, right? Yeah, delish. So we have our parsley and tarragon. Now this could be like any herbs you have. If you happen to have like, you know, just parsley, or if you kind of wanted to go like a cilantro route. Yeah, I'm not yeah, a cilantro like, fan. That's like a chardonnairean. You're either your chardonnay oh, or chardonnay. Right, we're saying cilantro. cilantro. Yes, yeah. so cilantro is a gene. Really it's like a gene. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a, it is an actual gene that it tastes like soap. Do you think it tastes like soap? I don't like it. I'm not oh, sure if it tastes like soap, but I do I love it. Like I love it. Anytime a recipe it. calls for it, I'm like, it's made of cilantro. Really? Right, yep. not for you. Mm -hmm. not All right, right, so I just want to show you the bread here. I just want to give you a little, like, you know, kind of like test here. <gasps> oh, wow. Right? I mean, how great is that? Oh, yes. Yes. Amazing. Right? It's just that little crunch because. Yes. Yes. Amazing, right? It's just that little crunch that gets so hot. Oh my god! So we're gonna start with the mussels so first because the bread is so okay. hot. <laughs> because I have a lot of people that love rosé, so it's so good. Right, nineteen dollars, I think. Right, right. Please? Yeah, um, might be twenty-two. Twenty-two. The Dove Hunt Dog. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a nice color Anything too. Dove Hunt Dog is good. This is delicious, and the other really great rosé right now is the Galavant, which is. 22 to 24 dollars. I, I, off the top of my head, I don't recall. Right, which is this gallivant yeah, here. Which is the same, same label. Yeah, the same label. Correct. Same label, but rosé. But we're waiting. Excellent wines. My favorite is the Ed Nico, which is yes. out of stock right now. It will come back. They're going to launch new Hopefully, wines. Yeah. I would yeah. say any minute. Yep. But this was a Red Zen. This was the Red Zen, and the price point on this is $20 a bottle. 
which is fantastic for organic wine, less 10% for a case discount, delicious. I've had multiple people order that again and again and again, they love it. It's yeah. like their go-to Tuesday night through Tuesday night, like week long, <laughs> Tuesday, right. all day, every day. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's what happens these yeah. days. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but so let's just talk really quick. So remember we learned about the asparagus spears. Mm -hmm. big, and, big learning curve. Right, big learning curve. <laughs> and you guys like the crostini. Love the crostini. Loved. My whole family. I made them from your recipe back in the, I guess it was November. November or Thanksgiving. Yeah. I love them. And my kids eat them like it's their job. So right. So good. The <laughs> Great. crostini is so, so good. Because again, it was like that sweetness from the fig jam and then with the goat cheese. Mm -hmm. And then the as Christmas. I said to you, like you want a big piece of basil. Yeah. I was, I was tentative in about putting a big piece. Right, you weren't sure. You're like, nobody said but no, and then it. once you ate yeah, it, yeah, it's like, oh, wow, it so adds good. so much freshness, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously we're gonna have the mussels now with some bread. And then um, the salad. The salad is my Easter, Easter salad. side dish. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so let's, let's do another, another Thank one you. here. Spoon you out. Yeah. Um, wow, my husband's gonna be really jealous. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. Uh, sorry, Matthew. How do you think Matthew's on making tacos? Matthew's home He's supposed to be, right? <laughs> he's dancing. No, he's ordering in food, let's be honest. Not supposed oh, this to. This looks so good. We're supposed to cook oh, tonight, right? And so we get you the yeah. broth. We need the broth, right? We need that, you know what I mean? Like, look yeah. at that broth. Like, oh, broth. oh, my gosh. So good. Amazing. All right, I'm just going to try a little piece of the broth here. Oh, just so we can make so sure. Good. Yeah, just to make sure because we want the food to taste good and then we'll... Mm -hmm. You gonna make the garlic? Mm. Mm hmm. And the parsley? And the parsley from the tarragon? Delicious. You can taste the tarragon too, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, wow. Take a look, so Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Fan fan. So, mussels with scout and cellar wine. So Ladies, good. thank you. Oh thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. It was so fun. Oh, thank you for having us. We'll have to do it again, right? Mm -hmm. Happy Easter, everybody. Yes. Happy Easter, everybody. Bye.